And buddy, you know why you don't want to debate me publicly? Because I would smoke you. I would so intellectually smack you down, like, it, literally, it would be the most disgraceful thing. I know you're scared. You don't actually want to show that you don't understand the Bible. Because I will pre wrap you to oblivion. Let's do it. Let's do it. I'm going to make a video challenging you. You want to go out and do this? Let's go toe-to-toe -to -toe publicly. Let's, let's bring the swords out, bud. You want to be a little player like this and play your dumb games? Call me a victim card. Play your big little tough rebuke there. You're so tough. You know your scriptures there, Tim. Now you're a punk, bud. I could see it brewing in you. I could see that type of husky spirit, that legalistic, soon to betray false brother spirit. I knew it. I saw it in you. I'm going to challenge you publicly. Let's go. Let's go. Let's duel. But you all, you're a coward. You all. <laughs> I know you, Tim. I know you won't face me because you know. You know. Let's do it. Let's do it. Me and you. Tribulation. Let's do it. The rapture. Let's go. Toe to toe with TVC. You little coward. But you all, you're a coward. You all. <laughs> but you all, you're a coward. You all. <laughs> <laughs> My fellow Satanist and 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 trying to get you guys to do with me is after the super chat i'm gonna go be i'm gonna go be i'm gonna go spend time alone with my fellow satanists and encourage you to do the same <laughs> is you are twisted if that's what you're doing so kitty cat stop being so judgmental and ridiculous i'm a gomer um a prostitute who <laughs> i'm tearing up um I didn't really see the question, but I saw it was something you know, on the topic of <clears throat> uh, churches who preach the prosperity gospel. Um, for those of you who don't know, the prosperity gospel is preachers that will basically tell you uh, that um, uh, Jesus wants you rich. That's, you know, you follow Jesus, you'll have a, a nice car, all this stuff. Now, I don't uh, think that God doesn't bless his people. There are, yo, Joe. Yo, Joe, come here. Just, just lay down. There you go. Here, I'll make you a place. Here you go, buddy. He wants. To, he always wants to sit right here. Here you go. So the price of the program is fifty dollars. That's what I would be asking. So I'm asking for fifty dollars so that I can fully fund the ministry with um, the things that I'm doing on the side with with these health coachings and stuff like that some the things that I'm doing on the side um, the things that I'm doing on the side um, the things that I'm doing on the side um, the things that I'm doing on the side if you guys can please hit the like button uh, churches who preach the prosperity gospel if you can fifty dollars would be what I would like to receive um, for those of you who don't know, the prosperity gospel is preachers that'll basically tell you uh, that um, uh, Jesus wants you rich. So I'm asking for fifty dollars. 
that's you know you follow jesus you'll have a, a nice car all this stuff now i don't uh think that god doesn't bless his people if you can fifty dollars would be what i would like to receive who anyone who gives 25 up to 50 i'm gonna go that step further um anyone who gives any lower than that just because of the volume that's going to come in i'm not going to be able to take the time um i mean we all have to work and make a living and i just can't keep doing stuff for free if you can fifty dollars would be what i would like to receive i hate that about the community here they just want you they don't understand this is a job they go to work they get paid but no i i, I can't i gotta just keep on working for nothing as yeah hate that about the community here they just want you they don't understand this is a job if you can fifty dollars would be what i would like to receive a uh, super chat allows you to help out the content creator if you want to help me reach more people and you really believe in what i do this is a way to uh, offer some support you can uh, send me a question. It's, I think it's like a dollar up to whatever, and I'll make sure to answer your question. And it really, really does help. And it allows me to keep on fighting for the kingdom and stay here working full time to try and bring souls into in hell. By faith, not sight. Uh, thanks for everything you do. Thank you. I appreciate that. I really appreciate the encouragement, guys. Obviously, you see how much hate that I get. So, uh, you know, don't feel too shy to say that uh, I'm doing a good thing. It's always nice to hear. I'm always getting torn down every once in a while. Well, you see it. If you're in my comment section, you see what I get. I get it the worst. The worst. There's no one. There's no Christian that gets it worse than me. That's for sure. But that's OK. Who cares? But you won't. You're a coward. You won't. <laughs> if you can, $50 would be what I would like to receive. What is it? What does the Bible teach? Now, I believe there's hell. Clearly in the Bible, it talks about hell. Uh, but is it eternal? I I'm a pretty smart dude. Okay, so I struggled on a logical level with this. And when I would look at the verses in the Bible, it would talk about perishing. It would talk about the wicked being ashes. Um, so, you know, a lot of Christians think, oh, wow, you're a heretic for believing this. I believe in God's judgment. Do you think it really matters at the end of the day whether or not I believe that sinners will be tortured forever and ever and ever or not? No. Sure, maybe I'm wrong. There's a lot of things in Christianity some of us are going to be on doctrinally. You don't get to heaven for your doctrines. But you won't. You're a coward. You won't. <laughs> so I'm asking for $50. Where's the justice in life or eternal torture? I don't see any justice in that. But I do see justice in eternal life or eternal death, meaning death. You're done. You're burned up. The flames consumed you and each one of you according to what you did, but you're done. It don't, we don't need to torture you forever. Um, but more, majority of the church disagree with me. Some even think I'm a heretic for that. It's just insanity. But um, yeah, so that's uh, my belief. Yeah, Jimbo, see, th this is what they say. Th they say to believe the Bible, not your feelings. And buddy, you know why you don't want to debate me publicly? Because I would smoke you. I would so intellectually smack you down, like it, literally, it would be the most disgraceful thing. I know you're scared. You don't actually want to show that you don't understand the Bible because I will pre-wrap you to oblivion. Let's do it, let's do it. I'm gonna make a video challenging you. You want to go out and do this? Let's go toe to toe publicly. Let's, let's bring the swords out, bud. You want to be a little player like this and play your dumb games? Call me a victim card. Play your big little tough rebuke there. You're so tough. You know your scriptures there, Tim. But you all, you're a coward. You all. <laughs> they say to believe the Bible, not your feelings. If you can, $50 would be what I would like to receive. So they think I come up with this because I don't want to submit to the truth of the Bible because God's wrath is unbelievably evil. And 
I just, I want to go with my feelings. No, I read the Bible and I use my intelligence and I actually see something. And here, I'll challenge it. Let's do this. You want to rock? Let's rock. Okay. So we have, let's take one verse, John 3, 16. Let's see what this logically means. Okay. Let's just read the text. Let's see what it says. Okay. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Should not burn and burn and burn and burn forever? Or does it say perish? Let's go ahead and look at what that actually means in the Greek. Let's see, because we should do this, okay? Not perish. Hmm, perish means destroy. It means to be done. It means he's, he's gone. So those of you that think I'm doing this for feelings, no, I come to Bible verses and I look at them intelligently, use my reason and logic and say, listen, you're twisting the Bible. You're going with what you want to add there. They say to believe the Bible, not your feelings. If you can, $50 would be what I would like to receive. Apollo me, which means you shall not be destroyed. Destroyed. What else does it say? Here's another verse. Look how easy it is to take these guys on. And that's up to you. So you can go ahead and do that too. Uh, if you want to just keep on believing this eternal hell stuff and you can think I'm a heretic, whatever, whatever. I don't read it and I'll challenge anyone. I'll challenge anyone. Let's debate this. Come on and we'll talk about these verses one after the other. And I'm going to show you I'm a pretty smart dude. I don't read it. I don't read it. I don't read it. Let's let's do it again. Watch. There's so many. I can hammer these guys out one after the other. They don't even follow the Bible. It's just stupid. I don't read it smoke of their torment ascends forever and ever not that their torment is done forever and ever so let's go let's rock it anyone out there i'm done with this stuff this is this is honestly you're, you're hurting god church by saying that yes there is a hell yes people will burn oh yes they will and the wicked will burn but they won't forever and ever because we don't have an evil god it's life or perish and perish means perish Oh, the church these days. Oh, you're going to stand before God for, for putting that out there. Because I would smoke you. I would so intellectually smack you down. Because I will pre-wrath you to oblivion. Are you so tough? You know your scriptures there, Tim. Now you're a punk, bud. If you can, $50 would be what I would like to receive. But you all, you're a coward. You all. <laughs> Uh, Invisible Abe Tube, what are your thoughts on hell testimony videos? Uh, complete, uh, just, that's, that doesn't exist. It's just like a new age type of thing. This is where I'm too smart, guys, okay? Notice this, okay? Everlasting, what? Fire. Not everlasting torment. Um, might be wrong, maybe that's the case. We'll find out on Judgment Day. All right, so, I'll just block some people here. All right, so I'm just going to get some people out of here. Uh, in Canada, we would uh, smoke a lot of dope. I mean, I would literally be able to smoke anyone under the table. You know, it is a good medicine. It's um, it's a great medicine. Um, is Jesus would, um, you know, he'd be ministering out. He'd be like me right now, okay, working with ministering. Oh, he'd be like me right now. Oh, he'd be like me right now. Oh, he'd be like me right now. Yeti. Yeti. I heard you. You want to say hello? I'm not avoiding questions. They just come in so quick. And uh, I'm not going to answer everything. So I guess you could say I do avoid some. I don't avoid. I just don't choose them. I avoid some. I don't avoid. I just don't choose them. I do avoid some. I do avoid some. I do avoid some. You can uh, send me a question. It's I think it's like a dollar up to whatever, and I'll make sure to answer your question. And, and uh, I'm not going to answer everything, so I guess you could say I do avoid some. 
I don't avoid, I just don't choose them. I do avoid some. If you can, $50 would be what I would like to receive. I slept with approximately 30 to 50 women. I really stopped counting after 30, so I really couldn't tell you. I, I got genital herpes. In this video series is we're going to be focusing on herpes for slutness. Uh, once you contract herpes, you're not going to be able to go around and just sleep around with everyone. Herpes is really not as bad as people make it out to be. In fact, one out of four sexually active people uh, have the disease, so when you're out there banging broads at the club or whatever, doing all... Uh, for example, let's say I meet someone. I'm not going to right off the bat tell them why. This, man. I used to be the coolest guy at the, at the party. I used to go to the party, I was banging it out with the bros, but I had all the hot guys, friends, we're all... So when you're out there banging broads at the club or whatever, doing all... I was banging it out with the bros, but I had all the hot guys. I had all the hot guys. I was about I had all the hot guys. Because I will pre wrap you to oblivion. But you all, you're a coward. You all. <laughs>when I was about 15, 16 years old, she got into uh, doing sex parties with toys and all the sexual uh, paraphernalia and stuff like I When people came to my house, uh, my, my family was very open sexually. I mean, you'd walk in and you'd see dildos and all sorts of creams and stuff and toys all over my house. Now, as I progressed into yoga, I actually started to get into the Kama Sutra. So I even practiced a form of witchcraft, sexual... I was banging it out with the bros, but I had all the hot guys. Um, so I opened myself up sexually to everything. Everything. I was... Uh, there's just... Nothing. No holds bar. I was banging it out with the bros, but I had all the hot guys. You have no idea how much I wish I could go back. You have no idea how much I wish I could go back. I was banging it out with the bros, but I had all the hot guys. Don't feel too shy to say that uh, I'm doing a good thing. Uh, in Canada, we would uh, smoke a lot of dope. I mean, I would literally be able to smoke anyone under the table. You know, it is a good medicine. It's, um, it's a great medicine. Yeti. Yeti. I heard you. You want to say hello? I was banging it out with the bros, but I had all the hot guys. Uh, Super Chat allows you to help out the content creator. If you want to help me reach more people and you really believe in what I do, this is a way to uh, offer some support. You can uh, send me a question. It's, I think it's like a dollar up to whatever, and I'll make sure to answer your question. And it really, really does help. And it allows me to keep on fighting for the kingdom and stay here working full time to try and bring souls into in hell. But you all, you're a coward. You all. <laughs> So I'm asking for $50. There's an urge. You have no idea how much I wish I could go back. I was banging it out with the bros, but I had all the hot guys. There's an urge. Uh, those of you that watch porn, I looked at the stats. Like, there's at least 20% in this chat. So there's probably a hundred or plus probably more brothers or sisters who are struggling in this way. And uh, 
we need to do it. We need to do it now, now. And pick little things. Like, for example, you come in here, you're looking at me, you're disturbed by my tattoo. There's something wrong with you, Christian. There's something wrong with you. You're not even looking at the right things. So what, I got a tattoo. Ridiculous. Yeah, I'm gonna get her out. I don't even want to hear it. Peace. Bye. So many Christians died a bunch of Pharisees. So I'm asking for $50. If you guys can, please hit the like button. But you all, you're a coward. You all. <laughs> but you all, you're a coward. You all. <laughs> 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 Yeah, 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 yeah.